I see that you people did not like my take on Bunny Girl Said Bye, and that's perfectly fine because this channel needs some spice after all. I have tons and tons of subscribers here, and I don't want to give them the impression that I am always right on everything. I am, after all, a human being with opinions, and all of them are pretty garbage, which is why I'm sharing it to you guys because I love you guys. Welcome to Alpha Ben's Uncapped, the hotter the better. Today's anime that has to be put on my evil judgments, SSSS Gridman. Now, I might have not mentioned this in any of my videos, but I did say this in a couple of my streams. I love Ultraman. I grew up watching a lot of the Heisei era Ultraman, most specifically Gaia. Ultraman Gaia was the one Ultraman that managed to hit the right balance between comedy and drama. Cosmos lead a bit too kid-friendly for my taste back then, Max is essentially a straight face celebration of the franchise, and Nexus is basically the Dark Knight of the Ultraman franchise, at least until I heard about Ultra 7X. Not too familiar with the earlier versions or the newer versions of Ultraman, but I played quite a lot of Ultraman Fighting Evolution 3 on the PS2, and that's one of my main points of entry on the entire Ultraman franchise, including the Showa era Ultraman. So when I heard that there's gonna be an anime produced by the same guys who did Ultraman, I thought, hey, why not? Let's check this one out. The story is pretty simple enough. There's a guy named Yuta who essentially had amnesia and cannot remember a lot of parts in his life. Then a kaiju comes in to attack everybody, and there's only one man worthy to save the world, and that is Gridman, who seems to be connected to Yuta through a junk computer of some sort. So can Yuta and Gridman figure out the source of all of these kaiju attacks and save the world once and for all? Gridman himself isn't a new character. He's actually a really old character based on a TV show in the 90s named Gridman the Hyper Agent, also made by the same guys. They also have a TV series called Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad or SSSS in the West, and this anime is practically a combination of both of those shows. That's pretty interesting and it does open up to a lot of references to the Ultra franchise, but before we actually talk to the good stuff, and believe me, there are tons of good stuff in this anime, let's get all the criticisms out of the way. This anime does practically nothing new in terms of the superhero kaiju genre. It does pretty much everything straight face. Aside from the city coming back to normal after every kaiju encounter, which I think has been done before, there's really nothing much that distinguishes it from any other ultra shows or kaiju shows or even mecha shows in general. So what makes SSSS Gridman truly special? Well, nothing much really. There are certainly infinitely better kaiju shows out there, and Gridman here is just showing you one of them in an anime form. I think the reason why I find Gridman so special is that it feels so much like a refresh. It's been a while since I see kaiju shows or any of the Ultra series, and watching Gridman just puts me back in that mood where I was in elementary school and watching some Ultraman on the TV. But there are also elements from Gridman that I really appreciate. For one, this anime has a pretty interesting directing style in that there's very little to no music accompanying a lot of the character scenes. The lack of music actually does help in a lot of things, immersing the audiences into the atmosphere, focusing them more into the dialogues, and giving it a faster and focused pace. It's a really strange but at the same time really damn intriguing choice of direction. I find the first episode of this anime to be the best out of all of them. It manages to have a very consistent pacing and showing a lot of information in a span of around 10 minutes before finally having the kaijus to storm the world and kill everyone. The first episode grabbed me so much I ended up binging the 12 episodes anime instead of consuming them in chunks. So in terms of grabbing your attention, the anime does a really good job, at least for me. Thankfully, despite the lack of music in a lot of the character scenes, the anime is able to keep itself alive with its colorful characters, and the characters are quite colorful. They're not necessarily innovative by any means or have any sorts of depth, but they do work for the purpose of the anime. For some reason, I really like Rika's mother in this anime. Her voice and her not giving a crap attitude is just too freaking hilarious to miss. But still, one of the key issues that prevent SSSS Gridman from being a great show is the fact that it's really nothing new. That and just like any other Ultra shows, all of the episodes are the same. Kaiju's attack, Gridman appears, Gridman fights, he wins the fight. If you're tired of the same old Ultra shows formula, this show isn't really doing anything different. It does exactly what it says on the tin, and I can't fault the show for what it wants to do, and doing it quite well to be honest. SSSS Gridman never pretends to be anything else. It has a focus on being a Kaiju show, and it always maintains its focus on that, but even still, with something like this, I feel like a lot of people are gonna be asking for something more, and I couldn't blame them. While I immensely enjoyed this anime as a fan of the Ultra series, and I love the amount of tributes and similarities that it does, I do recognize that it has a very specific appeal, and it's not the sorts of thing that is going to hit with everyone. I have to rate this show for everyone and not just for me, so I'd be giving it 3 out of 5. It's an immensely enjoyable show that doesn't really do anything new, but it does what it does quite well. But again, it has a very specific appeal, and if you don't find Kaiju's or Ultraman shows appealing, this show isn't going to convince you otherwise. If you want a tribute to the tokusatsu genre while still being a general 
generally accessible and fun show for everyone, I would recommend Samurai Flamenco. Or at least I would, if it has a much better ending.